the image we developed with Theodore Digger is a perspective timeline, um, highlighting the key periods in the history of future fictions. Uh, we chose to work with a perspective because we felt it's a very important element uh, in the construction of the image that has the notion of time already incorporated in it. So it's much easier for the viewer to understand uh, the story that we're trying to narrate. And it's much easier to make connections between different periods, between different elements within the image. Um, it's also something very new. Uh, timeline has never been presented in a perspective way before. And yeah, the image is actually divided in three main periods. Um, religion, science and post-science. And throughout these three periods, one can see um, how different desires or values of mankind manifest themselves in, 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 different, yeah, in different periods, in those three uh, contexts of religion, science and post-science. When we started with this project, it was a bit unclear how people think of future fictions, so we felt it's part of our responsibility to um, define uh, some, some key categories of, of future uh, fictions through desires or through values or through dreams. And we realized that there are certain uh, streams of realities that uh, existed th throughout history and people were always trying to define them through different um, cultural mediums or you know, through religion at first, through science at the then and lately what we call post-science which is a more connection between science and religion. So religion was about the metaphysical kind of belief into what we cannot see but we believe is there. Science is more about proving that something is there and what we feel post-science is as, as religion and science got discredited through time, we feel post-science comes now to fill the gap between the sensual and the uh, scientific, you know, and in a way combine those two to create yeah, new fictions and new realities. In, in TD we always try to somehow observe and record uh, socio-cultural patterns in a way and the, the challenge for us is to reorganize existing information into in such a way that we create new stories and uh, new contexts. And this image is actually a good example of the result of such a process. So by, by combining existing information we present something new uh, and we make a new story for people to see. Uh, it feels a bit forced nowadays to, to think about the future. It's, uh, it's almost like we're always trying to reinvent uh, the future and the future fictions but what we realized through our research and through our while developing the image was that it's something that has always been there. It was there since the beginning of time and will probably be there long after our generation. So what we think is really important is to define the values and the uh, desires of mankind and how these values and desires manifest themselves to through different cultures and uh, different time periods. That's that's. If you really start mapping these desires, then you can start thinking of how things will evolve in the future, or um, how people thought in the past. So you start creating an archive of way of thinking. You know, it's an archive of different ways of thinking in different periods and with different um, uh, guides in a way. What we learn, I think, through this image is that uh, architects, for example, should really listen to their to their times. You know, and if if you listen carefully and you observe, then you can actually start thinking of the future, for example, or you can actually start developing projects um, in a critical way or in an exaggerated way, but as part of the existing information. So take, take Archigram, for example, what they did. They developed the Project Walking City in a period where science and technology and machines and automation was super hype. So they, they took the reality and they augmented it in, in such a way that they created a fiction out of it. They, they said, okay, what if cities started walking? So it was part of the existing reality, but the result was a fiction. It was a future fiction for them.